Why must everything in the universe eventually move towards death? What does death truly signify, and is it really the end of everything? This may offer a new understanding. Death, in a living system, is the permanent and irreversible loss of the attributes that maintain its existence. It represents the cessation of a specific state of being. On Earth, life spans vary dramatically, from a dog's 15 years to a Greenland shark's 270. Even the so-called immortal jellyfish eventually faces a true death. This concept isn't limited to life, it also applies to celestial bodies. In about 5 billion years, our sun will exhaust its hydrogen fuel. It will stop nuclear fusion, approach the end of its life, and eventually become a desolate white dwarf. The Earth also has a lifespan and will be swallowed when the sun expands in its final stages. From a microscopic perspective, all things are composed of elements, and radioactive elements have a specific half-life. This can range from a fleeting 0.0018 seconds for polonium-215 to 4.5 billion years for uranium-238. In a sense, whether in the macroscopic universe or the microscopic world, almost everything has its own life cycle. This aligns with two fundamental laws. The law of conservation of energy states that the total amount of energy always remains constant. It is neither created nor destroyed, but only transforms from one form to another. In parallel, the law of increasing entropy, the second law of thermodynamics, states that in a closed system, total entropy, disorder, will only increase, and this process is irreversible. These two laws are complementary. Although the total amount of energy is constant, its form and distribution will change over time. This demonstrates the effect of increasing entropy. This also means that so-called death is actually just a transformation from one form to another. Consider your own body. The matter that makes you now is different from the matter of 10 years ago. When you gain or lose weight, where does that matter come from or go? The universe is similar. When the sun becomes a white dwarf, where did the matter that once composed it go? In reality, death is not the end of all things. Everything in this world, in the end, just transforms into another form. They have never truly disappeared, so how can it be called annihilation?